As Breast Cancer Awareness Month winds down, the need for preventative screening is ramping up. Studies show that more women under 40 and without a family history of the disease are being diagnosed with breast cancer. Tracy Potts shows us what was once a spotlight on some, a spotlight that is on some, has turned into a floodlight on us all. Oh, mommy got me. It's not just your mother's breast cancer anymore. There was no family history of it. It's not as predictable as it once was. I got breast cancer at 32 years old. I was in my prime. And it's not as discriminatory either. We're also dealing with a very young immigrant population. A growing number of women are being diagnosed at younger ages with no family history. Doctors and researchers don't know why. They think lifestyle, our diets and habits may be a factor. And while African-American women are 40% more likely than Caucasian women to die from breast cancer, it's the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women in the U.S. What hasn't changed? Early detection. It still makes a big difference. Women who undergo regular screening mammography have about a 50% less likelihood of dying from breast cancer when they're diagnosed compared to those who don't. That's what drives advocates to push for more funding. We want action. We want money that's going to be raised that's going to actually get these women screened and prevent late stage diagnosis of breast cancer. Reaching out before women become patients. Breast cancer awareness is not just October. It's an everyday event. It's really about all of us. And until we all get involved, um, we can't solve the problem. The changing face of breast cancer has prompted a new focus for support programs targeting a younger, more diverse population facing a higher risk, but often with less access to care.